Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Reed Sorensen's Nashville win from 2005. As you can probably guess, this is another first win. So let's take a quick look at the box. As usual, we've got Action Collectibles, 124 scale stock car. Winner, Lebanon, Texas, March 26, 2005. Got a nice picture of the car from the race. Raced version, discount tire company, Chip Ganassi Racing and Felix Abadis, Reed Sorensen. Another picture of him doing a burnout, basically the same stuff, same stuff, same stuff. We made a total of 3,036 of these things. 2005, copyright and such on the bottom. Let's get down to the car itself, and this is a fantastic looking race one right here. This is a discount tire car, as you see, that's, but they're advertising coats, which, um, discount tire really doesn't advertise anything else, if you've noticed, anymore. Beyond the America's tires... Instead of discount tires on the hood for like one race, they really don't change anything. You can see just the amount of dirt and grime that's on this car. Right there. Very nice looking raced one. You can see the rookie stripes. Let's get down to the sponsors. On the hood you just have coats, number 41, Dodge. Down the side you have discount tire coats. Home, one, two, three. Down there you got Dodge Freightliner, Lincoln Welders, that K logo, and not sure what that little one is next to Freightliners and Lincoln Welders. On the seat post you have FEMA Tip Top. <laughs> and on the B post you have Target, Hamilton, Home, one, two, three, Bosch, Snap-on, and Dodge. This is a Bush Series car, as you can see right there. On the back you have Coats, 41, and Discount Tire, Chip Ganassi Racing, and all that again. On the deck lid, you have coats. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. It wants to open. See that it just says coats again. There's the engine detail if you would like to see it. Take a look under the deck lid. You got your typical fuel cell and such back there. The roof flaps do in fact open. And there's the underside of the car if you would like to see it. Even the engine's gold on this one. <laughs> But now let's get down to the part everyone cares about, and that's the race damage and other stuff. As you can see, like I said, it is very, very dirty. This is just one of those cars that doesn't really need to be that damaged, but the dirt alone just makes it look fantastic. I mean, just look at how dirty and grimy this car is. On the right side, you got a little bit more dirt and stuff, not really anything. Got some rubber buildup around the right rear tire right there, as you can see. Nothing really on the back. Got a little more tire buildup on the left rear tier wheel well. And just a lot of dirt and grime and stuff. I do like how on the left side it's got the like red line kind of at the edge of the side skirt. That kind of looks cool. It's not on the left right side for some reason, but it didn't look like it was in the race either. So, not sure why they did that. Like I said, not too much in the way of damage and stuff, but just the amount of dirt on a white car like this just makes it look fantastic. See, this also does have the tape on the left front of the windshield, you know, to block the sunlight. But, you know, that's about it. Because if you're really into damage, you're not going to like this car. But if you just like nice, dirty, raced cars, this is definitely one for you. This car is very easy to get. It's one of the easier first wins to get. Probably because Reed Sorensen never mounted to anything. But if you wanted, I would definitely recommend picking it up. But I think that's pretty much all there is to say. This has been a review of Reed Sorensen's Nashville win from 2005. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.